Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to set up a local YUM or DNF repository on RH Online system. First of all, what is a local YUM or DNF repository? Why would you want to set up a local repository? Well, a local repository is a collection of RPM packages that you can use to install or update packages on your system without having to connect to the internet. This is also useful if you have a multiple servers on the network that need to be updated or if you have a limited bandwidth or no internet connection at all. For the interest of time, I have already prepared a set of steps and the files which will be used in this tutorial. I will place these steps in the description of the video for your reference. So let's get started. Log into the RH Line system. Okay, this is my RH Line system. This system is already registered to the RH network and has a valid subscription. The first step is to install create repo and the HTTP package. For that, we can use dnf command. So, copy this command. Paste it here. This command will install create repo and HTTP package. So, we would be using these two commands later in the tutorial. So, hit enter. Enter the password. Now remove the subscription from this system because we would be configuring a local repository on this system. For that, run subscription manager unregister command. So copy this command, paste it here. Great. The output confirms that system has been unregistered. Next step is to create a local repository folder. So here in our case we are creating a folder with the name local repo under YRWW HTML folder. So use mkdir command to create this folder. Next step is to mount the RHA line ISO file. Use mount O loop command to mount this ISO file under the MNT folder. Now run the df command to verify. Okay. This confirms that ISO file is mounted on slash mnt folder. So next step is to copy the content of the ISO file which is mounted in uh, mnt folder. So run the copy command. This command will copy the content of slash mnt to the local repo folder. So hit enter. It will take a minute or two. Next step is to run the create repo command on this folder. Okay. Command has been executed successfully. It has created the required SQL DBs for preparing this local repository. So next step is to create a local repository RHL repo file. So here in our case we are creating a file with the name rhl.repo under slash ctcm.repos.d folder with the following content. So use a VI editor to create this file. Copy this content. Since RHL8, package repositories are categorized into two, base OS and the app stream. So we are making the entries of both the repositories here in this file. So the base URL is equals to file. This refers that the base OS packages are available in this local repositories on the local system. Save this file. So this is the basic local repository which is configured and now ready to use. So for testing this repository, uh, run so install next. So this dnf command will go to our local repository and will 
download and install the nginx package so hit enter so this is the description of, of our rhgl9 base os in the app stream and you can see it is getting this package nginx from the app stream repository so if you hit enter press y and hit enter so this package is installed from our local repositories that's great now there could be a scenario that you want to apply install updates on the systems which are over the network for that you need to update this rhl repo file and in place of file in the base url entry you need to replace with the http protocol followed by the ip address of your server so in the next section what we are doing we are creating we are exposing this local repositories over the network using apache web server so copy these lines save this file next step is to configure apache for that you need to allow http and https ports in the firewall in case os firewall is running on your system so in my case it is running so i am running the firewall cmd commands to allow http and https ports hit enter next step is to edit http.conf file look for the document root okay for the document root yww html we are expecting these parameters should be there in case the parameters are not there please add those parameters so in my case the parameters were already there in the file the first one is option index follow symlinks it's there allow overwrite none it is also there and require all granted it is also there so save this file next step is to start and enable the apache service for that sudo enable the service using systemctl enable httpd now we are all set to test this local repository which is exposed using apache web server for that you can using a dnf install Hit enter. Great. It is downloading those net hyphen tools package using our local repository, which is exposed using Apache Web Server. So we are able to use this repository locally to test this repository over the network. I have a system which is uh, RHL9 based system over the network. So I would configure this local repository on that system and try to download and install packages using this repo. For that, this is my RHL9 system again, which is over the network. So here, create a RHL.repo file under slash etc yum.repos.d folder. Sorry. Save and close the file. Let's try installing Nginx package here. For that, for the enough install This output confirms that Nginx package has been installed successfully on this node using our locally configured EMO DNF repository, which is exposed using apache web server that's all from this video tutorial i hope you have found it informative please do like the video subscribe our channel thank you bye have a nice day